looking at something other than what we usually get. Something other than Star Wars. This is a break away from everything I usually collect and kind of like a new thing of opening. I, I, I'm very interested in going into something I've never really gotten before. Something, um, obviously you see here, Crash Bandicoot by NECA. Now NECA just released this just about a week or probably three, four days ago. And I order it the minute I saw it up for uh, grabs on eBay when they announced it on Instagram because I grew up with Crash Bandicoot in my childhood. This this guy was the go-to video game for me when I was playing uh, PlayStation, PS1 games. And this Crash Bandicoot was my, like, it's it's my nostalgic uh, feeling when I, when I go to, like, PS1 days in my early childhood. I'm like, Crash, this marsupial-looking weird... I don't even know what this thing is. So, um, I just opened the clamshell at the back so I can make it more easier for you. Um, or for me, rather, upon opening it. Now, what does he come with? He's just the figure and a box crate replica. If you played the Crash Bandicoot games, you'd know what the crates look like. It comes with a cardboard crate. I guess it's inside of this um, uh, manual guide here. This, As you can see him at the back. Now, this guy also has articulated eyebrows, so that's something I'm kind of looking forward to because you can make all kinds of greatness in posing out of him, which is so cool. So, without further ado, let's get into it and unbox this. I have not taken it out. I wanted to get a first reaction on camera with you guys, so just to make it all awesome. So, let's put this aside and start unboxing this guy in front of y'all. This is going to be an unboxing plus slash review. So, as we get through the uh, back carding, as you can see here, this is, um, looks like, oh, here comes the, okay, nothing is inside, just some nice little art, love the background art to it, it's a shame you can't open this clamshell without tearing the package, I don't like that. So, I'm not gonna edit this, I'm just kinda gonna do everything on camera here for ya. Um, I guess you fold this in here. I guess you fold that in there. I guess you will. Oh gosh. I'm gonna do everything non-edit so you guys can see. I'm really interested into uh, making this um, like non-edited because it's a different thing for me. It's not Star Wars like we're used to. Um, it's not all that crap that Disney produces so we can just buy the crap out of it. What I like about NECA is that NECA, NECA, whatever you want to call it, they make fantastic figures for the price. Now, you're looking at this figure and how crazy detailed you'll see, and he is only $20 plus shipping, whatever that is, give or take, you know? So, that being only $20, it's, it's amazing how they can how they can really dish out figures, and they have one-fourth quarter-scale figures starting out at a hundred bucks. You can get like a one-fourth scale Alien, Captain America, Deadpool, all at around a hundred bucks, a hundred and eight bucks, which is just simply amazing. And stuff like this makes it just, just even more better. This is just a regular crate. Um, I think when you bust these crates open, you don't really get much. This is for him to balance, I think, on these crates. The question mark are the peaches be the crates um he gets peaches or booglas i call them booglas so we're gonna set that there keep on spinning let's go for the good part now this is just what's left of him inside of here let's get through these wires and get him out of here now he's considered a marsupial so i don't know what kind of coot bandicoot he is um but he's considered a marsupial so here we go with the clamshell in here get that out of here okay put that to the side nice little labeling up front as you can see now let's pull him out get this wiring out of this okay so you can see the whole process um i i wish neca really grabbed a star wars license i feel they would do the star wars fans some justice as far as collectors go um i hope the sound is not too much as far as collectors go, I hope they would do some justice for us because really we've been getting some crazy, um, just out of whack. To me, Black Series haven't been putting out too great, um, but NECA, I just love the, um, just the figures. I've never had any. I've always loved NECA, but haven't actually, um, all that, so 
Oh, so that pops off real easy. Okay, so that's how it looks like that. But I guess it's made for... Oh, that's so cool. You can make it all... That's so cool. You can make it like really... Let's put some light. You can make it like... Okay, let's get this down. Okay, sure. So you can get some crazy little posing with his eyebrows here, evidently. I'm probably going to have him in the like... That's his sound that Crash Bandicoot makes. Whoa, these are really tight joints. So, now that we have him out, let's uh, let's go down and take a visual look at him. Now, this guy's joints are really, really stiff. Um, so, hopefully he can stay. So, let's get down here and go zoom in on him. So, here's the guy, the Crash. The colors on this is amazing. Um, for what you pay 20 bucks for a figure like this it's really awesome the amount of detail in the sculpt and the colors is surprisingly amazing I just love it. let's really zoom into that and see the, all the detail really love that detail um, my, like I said my first NECA figure so not too familiar with them that much but as of seeing them online and pictures and promotional shots very good, very good detail. Very extreme details for the prices you really pay in this. As you can see, the sculpt on the hands, like the fur, looks like little Cheetos. Um, it's not really Cheetos, but you know, um, it just looks so good. It looks like it looks, <laughs> it looks so much better than the game, obviously. And then you move down towards his board shorts and uh, his little big old feet here. Now let's go to the side profile of this guy. Um, just more of the great details like you see in the um, arm area and the head. Not sure how much that head articulates, but loving this, loving this. This is so much detail, so much awesomeness right there. Now let's go towards the back. Just some more goodness in the back. Looks like a gremlin from the back. Looks like a little gremlin. NECA makes them too. I just, I wish NECA had the license for, um, um, Star Wars. That would, that would just make my day. So, now that would be, that's being all said, let's go over some articulation. So, here we have his articulation-ness. Let's see what we can get out of him. So, joints are really tight. They go up to about 90, you can say. 90 is a good thing. It's not, not crazy. I wouldn't like double joints on him because you would you would disturb all these very clean joints. NECA did amazing with the clean joints on this guy. A very hard um, figure to get clean joints on, but they nailed it right on the head. I love the way they did that. Uh, nice, soft, textured uh, hair he's got here. Like I said, these are all uh, ball joints on these, so you can get all kinds of uh, interactions with him and like, like just crazy looks on him. So that's so cool. You got a little bit of head swivel, um, not too much. It doesn't go back and forth. It just goes side to side, really. Just, just to get an angle. Um, anything up in here? Nope, no ears. But the color is just amazing. Um, we'll zoom in on that a little later. So he's got a bit of a abdominal, abdominal swivel. Um, no, oh, yeah, he does have crunch. Wow, that's crazy. Look, he has that crunch, but retains amazing transition from the split in his chest that is so cool that's so cool I, I love how they did that see in the back see he retains that amazing transition you almost can't see it because of the way it's sculpted now let's see if it's yep he does have wrist swivel as well um does he i see a joint that goes that goes it should be able yeah it does i'm gonna have him in the uh, pose where he's like like doing the, the uh, kind of like what do you call that oh gosh what do you call it he's like thrusting he's like groin thr I don't know what you call that thing well I'll see I didn't even see this either he has joints down here as well so legs do pivot and s kind of swivel yeah swivels and bends not the greatest does he have knee articulation let me take a closer look Okay, I do see a I do see a joint in there, so it's, it is kind of a knee 
I guess that yeah, it gotta be it gotta be a joint in there. It's, it's bending. I'm hoping I'm not damaging the plastic, but it's bending. There's a joint in there, as well as you get some ankle rotation, not too much of a swivel. You can you can rotate it for sure. You can articulate back and up and down a little bit, but I mean, given the f character's design, you're not gonna get the uh, uh, greatest articulation out of this guy because of the character's design. And um, I should have him like dab. Oh, and his shoulders do articulate as well. They go up and down. So look at that. It's just a beautiful looking figure. Just the color alone gives it so much attitude and so much. And they get little foot pegs at the bottom. I guess they sell um, um, little stands as well for him. So much great detail. And just the shoes and just random places like that. It's just so awesome. Um, just that orange to me is just amazing. I love that orange. That very bandicoot looking orange. It's very nice. A lot of detail in this. For 20 bucks, I, I it, it lights up nostalgia for me. I really love this guy. Um, it's, it's a, oh, that's a good one. It kind of is like, he's like creeping. And then, just, he's a pretty easy figure to stand. Um, it's not too, too much of a challenge to make him stand. Um, there's some parts because he is top heavy. Um, he will fall over in some, uh, poses, but this guy is pretty dynamic and the box he comes with, pretty cool. You can just have that set, sitting around laying wherever you may uh, want it. So pretty cool design all in all. Love this figure. Just got released. Make sure you pick one up if you played Crash Bandicoot as a child or a young adult or old dude and still alive. But amazing figure. Just an amazing figure all in all. That head sculpt is near perfect. Um, the only thing I would say is the eyes kind of seem a little bit on the dull side. I kind of I kind of wish they went a little bit more detailed on that, but I mean. It's okay. We'll see. We'll get another close-up when it comes back around. See what I'm talking about. It's it's almost cheaply put on there, kind of. It looks... I don't know. that It could be as realistic as they could got it because it's a video game character, but just an amazing figure, like I said. Really nice. Um, hope you guys p get the chance to pick this up. Um, retails for 20 bucks. Way too cheap to pass on it if you guys are a Crash fan. Make sure you pick it up. Uh, it's a company collectibles. If you like what you saw here, make sure you subscribe. Not, not too, uh, too much on this figure, but it's one of those figures that really grabs attention on the shelf of wherever you're displaying. Him. And I kind of like this pose right here. It's like he's just, he's just crazy. I, mean, it, I was thinking maybe it should have came with a little bit more attachments. Maybe his little uh, juju. I don't even know what they call. It. I used to call him Buglak because he used to go Buglak. So I used to call it that. But I wish it would have came with that little board, and that would have been a cool accessory. Would have paid five bucks. You see what I mean? He just, I mean, because he's top heavy, but you can find a sweet spot on that, on him. He's not that hard. Um, and if you don't move him, shake it around or whatever, he wouldn't fall over ever. Because the joints are so tight and nice, so. Very awesome looking expression they have on him. Um, I've seen somewhere he's not too, uh... Uh, he's, his mouth isn't open. He's just smiling. I've seen some pics like that, but I don't know which one that is. And they also have a, a exclusive where it comes with a like a hoverboard and all whatnot. So if you want that, that's another choice for you. Um, oh, see, like you can get you can change up the face on this guy just by moving his eyebrows. Isn't that cool? It's like so cool. Okay, I better stop talking. I love this figure. Twenty bucks couldn't get you any better. Paid like eight dollars shipping from NECA. I bought this directly from NECA on eBay. Just look up NECA on eBay, and they have their shop right there, so you can check one out and or pick it up. Which I recommend highly picking this up. It's a great figure. Like I said, subscribe, like, share the video, follow me on Instagram, and good day to you. All right, from the Crash Bandicoot. Oh, slowly panning in. Oh, I just love that color. Very nice flaming hot Cheetos. Whoa.